Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Addie and welcome to a yoga instructional on plow pose. So plow pose is a wonderful inversion that may be part of your yoga practice and I'm here to help you out. So I'll go ahead and start out by showing you the posture and then I'll break it down a little bit more. To come into plow pose, start by lying all the way down on your back, hands down by your side and legs up towards the ceiling. Legs are going to come over your head as you press into your hands and toes will come behind you. Engage your core, press your toes into the mat, and walk your shoulder blades slightly under you. Hands come to the back for support. Here's your plow pose. And to come out, hands come down. Gently roll yourself all the way down, one vertebrae at a time, the same way that you came in. One thing to keep in mind while you're in plow is to keep your gaze straight up towards the ceiling and to avoid turning your head side to side for the safety of your neck. So let's go ahead and do that again. Feet up, hands down. When you're starting out, it may help you to get a little bit more momentum and to roll yourself up. Press into your hands at the same time. Feet come down. Find the length in your spine. Hands come to your back. If you're finding you're rounding a lot in your back, try to press a little more into your toes. Walk your shoulder blades under some more. And again, to come out, gently roll yourself all the way down. The same way that you came in. If you're having trouble getting your feet all the way to the floor, your flexibility may not be there yet. So it will be a good idea for you to lift up with a wall behind you. So when you come up, your feet will actually come to a wall here instead of dangling in the air. If you get more flexible, you'll be able to walk your feet down and they'll come all the way to the floor to meet me here. When you're in plow, you can play around with some angles here, keeping your head in the same spot. Maybe you walk your feet a little bit to the right side or a little bit to the left. See how that feels along your back. When you're in plow, there should be a pose that feels good. So you should feel a nice release along your spine as well as in between your shoulder blades. If it's feeling any pain, this may not be the right pose for your practice at the moment. There's other poses that will be very stress relieving to your spine such as feet wide, knees together, or simply legs up the wall, or in the same position with a block under your low back. We'll go ahead and run through plow pose one more time. Hands down, engage the core, tuck the belly button into spine, legs up and over, toes down, press into the toes, Hips high, hands to the low back. Also a variation to take the hands in a clasp. Walk the shoulder blades under just a little bit more. To release, hands come down to either side. Roll yourself all the way out. And we'll eventually sit it up. Thank you all for tuning in for this yoga instructional. Let me know if this helped you at all in your journey to plow pose, or if you have any more questions, let me know in the comments. Plow pose is a foundational pose for other postures such as shoulder stands, which will be our next journey in this series of videos under yoga instructionals. So make sure to tune in for the shoulder stand, for the shoulder stand video, and I will see you in the next one. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Namaste.